I think the language of passion is kind of a trap that that it, it often, and that's it's a trap that I fell into in medical school. I think because I was like, if I'm not passionate about what I'm doing, if, then I, then I must be doing the wrong thing. Um, but I do think that as, I do think that we learn what we're to do in part by what brings joy to us and what we find satisfaction in. But I'd rather use the language of joy than than passion. I realize they could be similar, but. Uh, I think that, that, first of all, there's no career job in existence, I think, that one can be passionate about all the time. I love being a psychiatrist, but I'm not passionate every single minute that I'm seeing patients. <laughs> I mean, often I'm like, trying to kind of get through a day and, and figure out how to, how to do the best I can. And, and I, don't think I, I don't think that's a fair like, thing to hold over myself or any, any of us. I do you think that joy is important? Um, but I also think it's one of those messages that institutions send to us. So again, I'm at Duke, I'm not at Pitt or CNU, but at Duke, like, you know, the message that undergraduates get is basically from, from the university is basically like, you all are amazing, we have accepted you because you're amazing, and therefore take these resources that we have to offer and go and do great things and follow your dreams. And I think that's a recipe for anxiety. Because, um, because first of all, like, how do how do you know of, of all these different things what to do, and and how do you just go out and do great things? I, I, I'd much rather the university say, um, you know, we've accepted you all, and the fact that you made it through this very competitive process means that you've already been ground down in some ways in a system that is like focused on achievement and competition and like hard work, and you you already are used to like padding CVs and knowing yourself, so. What we want you to do here is to learn how to love. Like, love yourselves and love others, to learn how to take the time and space to understand what you love, to actually experience uh, kind of deeper, settled joy and not just like excitement about some new thing. Um, I, don't, I don't think any university does that very well. I know, that, that, you know that could happen at Duke, but it's not the message that people get. But I, I think that career satisfaction comes more from like, Having a kind of long, settled commitment to to a craft or to a uh, to a practice or to especially a people or to to others that, that allows then the joy to be there even when the passion even when the passion in any given day is not.